um, just on bug bounties. Uh, so you've been doing them for a couple of months, I guess. How did you sort of get started in bug bounties? Was that off uh, like talking with other people or was it just something you sort of got interested in? Well, to trace back in time, the point when I decided to do bug bounties, I think it was immediately after getting the OSCP. I'm not really sure what video I was looking at on YouTube or what live stream I was looking at. Maybe it was Nahamsek or I don't know uh, exactly, but um, up till that point, I disregarded bug bounties because I said, uh, it's not worth it because thousands of people are doing it. Thousands of people are looking at the same program as I'm looking at this moment. And the chances are that I'm gonna get duplicates is super high. And that's actually what's the case. But the idea is that I was pretty much motivated to keep on doing it because at every step of, at every new, with every new bounty program that I'm working on, I learn something new. I try to uh, develop my own scripts when it comes to automating stuff, when it comes to, let's say, for example, when you're uh, like, when you've been tired of doing, let's say, web application, uh, bug bounty hunting you want to get into mobile bug bounty hunting and that's like you approach that in a very different manner so with bug bounty hunting i've actually learned a lot how to work with burp suite because for example in my oscp study i never actually touched burp suite really so that's kind of interesting maybe <laughs> it's kind of unconventional but i only started using burp suite when i started doing bug bounty hunting okay that's so, interesting. I definitely use Burp Suite in my OSCP, but um, yeah, I guess it's, it's a different approach. And you don't have to use it, of course. You can do anything your own way when doing the OSCP, but...